Hi, Stinky. How are you? Today, we're gonna feed Cheyenne. She's really excited. I have lined up on the windowsill all of her favorite treats. We have Harrison's, we have Nutriberries, papaya, banana, pine nuts, almonds in the shell, and I got one of these for her. We'll see if she likes that. I bet she'll eat it all, because you're a pig, aren't you? Yes, you're chunky. Look, you're so chunky. You pretty girl. Here, let's start with a Harrison's. These are little cube treats. They're actually a pretty healthy treat as far as bird treats go. Harrison's is an expensive brand though, so I don't feed her purely Harrison's. I just use the power treats as a little reward here and there. Mmm, do you like it? If she pins her eyes, it means she's really excited. Is that good? Yeah, I think she likes that. Cheyenne here is 18 years old, if I remember correctly. Oh, you're squeaking. You are really excited. She does pluck her feathers, but that's because of neglect in a previous home. And I go more in depth about her story in this video right here. All right, next up is a Nutriberry. I've been using Nutriberries for years for all of my birds. You want this? Do you want it? Oh, there it is! Yay! Good girl! Do you like that too? Oh, that's really tasty. If she whips her head up like that, it means she's really liking it. And she's pinning up a storm. Oh, are, are you just dropping it onto the floor? No, you're eating it. Okay. I think most of the Nutriberries end up on the ground. They're just a toy more than anything else. But she does eat part, parts of it as more falls onto the floor. Well, that treat is done. All right, next. Will you eat a chunk of papaya? Mm, oh, ah, uh, not mm. Was that an accident or did you purposely drop it? Mmm, eat your papaya. No, you don't want that today. She does like papaya, I promise. All right, well, she's not gonna eat that. How about banana chip? This is one of her favorites. <gasps> is that good? Yep, she pulled her head up, she likes it. One thing I love about macaws and other bigger birds is how they use their feet to hold their food while they eat it. They're just, their cognitive level is just, just amazing. Next, pine nuts. Do you want this? Oh, can't have it, it's mine. You're just confused. Okay, here. Mmm. <laughs> yep, likes that too. Macaws and other parrots, hookbills in general, are great at shelling their food. And the bigger the bird, the stronger the beak. So she can, with little to no effort, crack that shell and eat the nut inside. Do you want some more? Go dancing. Good girl. What a pretty girl. Next is an almond. Now I can give her just about any nut. She can even crack Brazil nuts. I know you're really wanting this almond. She can crack just about any nut that you can buy regularly at a store. Walnuts, pecans, almonds, hazelnuts. She loves them all. All I have right now though is an almond. So here you go. And just like that, she cracked it open. Sometimes it makes me wonder how much damage her beak could do on a finger, but thankfully, she and I have such a good relationship that I completely trust her. I don't know if you've noticed, but as we go along and as she eats more food, her crop here fills up. And this is actually kind of convenient. Oh, thank you for preening me. I guess I'm dirty. It's kind of convenient that she plucks those feathers because I can monitor how hungry she is at the moment. If it's concave, then she's pretty hungry. But sometimes it's bulging out to like way out there after she eats a big meal. And sometimes you can even feel, oh, I feel the chunks of the food. Yeah, that's gross. You birds are weird animals sometimes. Should we see if you like the new one I got you? I don't know if she'll like it or not. We'll see. It's kind of for smaller birds with those smaller seeds, but the wooden thing she might like. With parrots, you need to give them a lot of wooden toys to whittle down their beaks as they chew on them. Otherwise, their beaks can become overgrown. So this is like a toy and a treat in one. You ready? Here you go. What? You'll like it. Aw. But I bought this for you. Please just, just try it. Here, let me put it in your beak for you. Are you just full from all those? You're probably just full from the other treats. How about if I try in an hour? A special treat that Cheyenne loves are chicken bones. 
Do you want one? They are the remnants of, you know, when we have chicken at home. What she'll do is she'll take it. Mm. She's really excited. She loves these. And she will clean off any extra meat that is still remaining on the bone. And after that, she actually will go in and break it up. And what she's going for here is the marrow inside of the bone, which I have always found interesting that big birds who are strong enough to open up bones seem to have that instinct to know that there's something good inside. Birds naturally will shell their food, and even if she's eating grapes, she won't eat the peel. But this also applies to most other foods, including bones. Since macaws wouldn't encounter these in the wild, or at least not very often, bones are a very rare and special treat for her. With a bite strength of between 500 and 700 pounds per square inch, it's no surprise that she can easily break this bone open. Since living with a macaw is like living with a three-year-old for 75 years, you get used to sharing all your food with them. Mmm. Cheyenne likes watermelon, apples, bananas, grapes, just about any fruit. She should eat more vegetables, but macaws generally don't like vegetables as much, so I kind of sneak them into her diet through her pellets, which have baked vegetables in them. Sometimes, however... You can't take a bath in the watermelon. She thinks she can bathe in her food. No, I'm sorry. We've got the tail waggle going. There it is. <sighs> I thought you were smarter than this. You can't bathe in your piece of watermelon. For Cheyenne, flapping her wings is a sign she wants to take a bath. At least she's cute. She'll try to take baths in our fish tank, in the turtle tank, in running water from the faucet in the sink, just about anything that's wet or makes a dripping noise she will try to bathe in. Just goes to show that although they are pretty smart animals, mm, they're not as smart as others. If you'd like to learn more about Cheyenne, just click the video in the credits. Don't forget to vote for next week's Feed My Pet Friday in the upper right-hand corner, and we'll see you then.